What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the most chaotic, unorganized month of vlogging to history. This is, I can't really work out right now because I'm bald. So we're just kind of doing random shit right now, but I'm gonna get back into training January 1st and everything. We're gonna take a little hiatus for the holidays. But people have been asking about my bald head. I went down to Turkey after we were in Dubai. We were in Dubai, first of all, the Dubai Muscle Show, and it was kind of a chaotic event in general. Just chaos, as is all of the events. And then we went to Turkey and I got a hair transplant. This company, Now Hair Time, flew me out and did the procedure for me. It's supposed to be like one of the best places to do it. But the procedure is pretty like painful. You lie on your back and they jab you full of these needles to freeze your head and it just that hurt like a fucking beach. It really hurt. They numb your head and then they start injecting your head full of water and it's full of like epinephrine as well. So my heart starts racing. I feel like I'm having a panic attack on the bed. And then you lie there face down and they drill into your head 4,500 times pulling out one hair at a time putting in a little petri dish and you're just like lying there awake uncomfortable until that's done and then they flip you over inject more water and shit in your head and then they put all those hairs back in one at a time so there's 9,000 times essentially that they drill into your head taking the hair in and out so it's a pretty intense procedure I'm not gonna lie but it's not the end of the world it was eight and a half hours total that I was in the hospital doing that in the procedure room so long but my hairline looks pretty clean right now. I've been looking super weird and super bald. I had a scabbed head that was super itchy for a while. Honestly, the worst part was having scabs and an itchy head, worse than the procedure. But overall, 10 days later, I'm like, it really wasn't that bad. Can't complain. And if I have a full head of hair, it will be worth it. So you guys will be obviously staying up to date with the growth of my hair. Apparently like four to six weeks after you get the procedure, all the new hair falls out and then it regrows and then it stays after that regrow stage. So in six months, I should be looking like actually good to go. And until then, I'm probably gonna look weird and patchy bald and buzz cut sebum, but that's okay, it is what it is. So keep you guys to stay, I keep you guys up to date with the progress of my hair growth. Other than that, we're just chilling. There's a workout video that we took three or four weeks ago or something that I'm gonna throw in here just so you have some workout footage because we forgot to post that. And other than that, I'm not allowed to train for 30 days post procedure of my hair. So I'm using it at the time for my body to recover. A little bit of stretching, a little bit of cardio, but I'm not really supposed to sweat or increase my blood pressure at all. So I'm using this time to chill, take it off. I'm gonna go home for the holidays, enjoy seeing my family, and then we're gonna, go, gonna come back full steam ahead. I'm actually gonna be having a transformation contest. We just thought because I'm gonna be just getting back into working out in like January 1st, might as well like run a transformation contest through the app and give people an opportunity to do that with me you know new year new me all that kind of bullshit so be documenting that of course more information will be coming on that but other than that that's all that's going on so since i haven't trained in three weeks we're going to show you guys an old video i'm going to be getting skinny and fat over the holidays joyous be to me and that's really all that's going on so yeah appreciate you guys enjoy this old school workout or throwback workout i guess and i'll see you guys later What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Life Post 5 Feet. It's always weird, weeks after Zofia. Training's weird, I'm tired, I'm weak, but I wanna work out because I'm eating more and I'm fat. And then I got back on diet because I did a photo shoot yesterday. Cool photo shoot was a really old school photographer named Per Banal. Very different from what I normally do. I haven't done a photo shoot since 2018, maybe. Like a photo shoot, photo shoot. So it was interesting. I think the pictures will be good. But we're just trying to get back into life now. Now I don't have to diet anymore because I have no more photo shoots and no more shows. So I ate a shit ton of pancakes this morning and I, my belly was just like fucking out to hear Corny made these like dense pancakes because they're all natural organic, of course. Oh, and I'm just like trying to catch my breath now. So we're in the gym, training some back. No crazy workouts, just still trying to move. Make sure my body just doesn't lock up. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. We got a new car, right? So we'll take it for a rip after this. We'll see if Calvin still remembers how to drive a stick. Mm. So. It's it's weird because it's so old. Putting it into gear compared to my Porsche, the Porsche is like Shh. this is like all right, it's in, and you have no idea. So it's fucking 55 years old or 54 years old. So we'll maybe rip that after this, but we can try and get some back warm up. What happened to the Ford? I've been in the shop for nine months for AC. So. Yeah, so I'm hoping to get that back soon too. I'll probably park it up back. But yeah, what's going on? So, off to it.
funny. My body doesn't have the ability to like push after a show. It's just like it's dead and my wings is down. But I probably need to give myself adequate rest because for the last like two weeks since the Olympia, I've been sleeping like most nights, like eight to nine hours in bed. I only sleep like six, seven hours, but I'm fucking exhausted continuously when I wake up, just recovering from prep still. So making do with what we can. Training now is not crazy, but doing a little more supersets, a little more volume, pushing a little bit less. So that's what we're doing. favorite machine. It's like a stretch and a workout at the same time. Oh fuck, I tried to put the sweater on because it was cold outside today. Ish for the first time in Florida. How does it feel not being able to have to hide that you're pregnant? I'm still hiding, not really. Feels great, I'm free. The bump is free. Yay! Yay! What? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do any freeways today. I feel just like lazy as fuck. I'm not gonna train for like 12 days to two weeks to next week. Getting stem cells. I'm getting my hair did. I'm going to Turkey and getting a hair transplant. That's why I have a shit haircut right now because I can't cut it. I'm going to look like a bum for a while. I'm going to look like a fucking scabbed up mess for a while. Then I'm going to look like a bald weirdo for a while. Then I'm going to look like fucking youthful anti-aging sebum with a full head of hair. So get ready. Very well. How long it's been since I've worked out heavy weight. <sighs> I'm gonna switch my workouts a little bit now. I'll give you guys more of an update when I actually have it figured out what the fuck I'm gonna do. I mean, I'm gonna be doing a little bit less intensity like row split style. So I'm gonna do like kind of a push pull legs variation, but not quite just so I'm not doing like six exercises on chest. My chest has been locking up and fucking up my posture. It's not my favorite way to train, but I'm just trying to like let my body relax a little bit and still train everything I need to do. And then like recovery period, that is the months after competing at the Olympia, so. I'm gonna figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do, but right now I'm gonna do like three heck back exercises, some rear delts and biceps. That'll be the full workout rather than like six full back exercises. So I'm trying to figure it out in my head. <clears throat>
Do you even like training anymore? What? Do you even like training? Yeah, but it's hard when you just fucking compete, bro. It's like this dump of motivation for this one day that you're training all year. You look good, you're strong, you're fucking on all my shit. Then all of a sudden you're like, there's no goal. Your body hurts, you're tired. Your nervous system that was like running on cortisol for months is just like crashed and can't catch up on sleep. So you just gotta stay motivated by not being a little bitch. But I still wanna be fat, honestly. I like food more than bodybuilding right now, but keep me another couple months and I'll be back. Happens every year. I'm gonna do a Murph in six months. The main thing I can't do is pull up, so I'm gonna do pull ups every day for the next six months. Mopar. I know. I gotta earn the Mopar. The Mopar is like the dream one. It's gotta be perfect. And this is smudges so easily. Black paint, yeah. You can see it's old. You can see your reflection. It's an old girl. I'm gonna put fucking five feet on the license plate. Classic physique mobile. It'll probably break down on me just like my truck did every time I drive it, but it's part of the fun. What do you think of his new car? another car to fit in the house but it's very cool. I do like it. I sense hostility. I sense hostility. <laughs> I'm not hostile. I it's, it's, be happy when you find the other one I bought. You're lying. Oh. It's beautiful. I don't know much about cars but it's a pretty beast. It's a pretty girly. It's a girl, right? Sure. You always call your car girl. It's his it's his gift to himself because he's having a kid. So he thought he needs to reward himself, you know? Yeah. For sure. That's, that's exactly it, Kelma. He's just like, wow, I did a good job. <laughs> you get a car. <laughs> yeah, right? I got the truck last year. Was oh, that two years ago? Wait, what? Oh, I thought, yeah. I misheard everything we all just said. You gave yourself a gift. For helping create the child. Oh, yes. And then we'll put the baby in the passenger seat with the <laughs> half seat belt over it. Let me take Courtney pictures of that. Just the baby with the half seat belt around its waist, like sitting in the chair <laughs> in the side seat. She's gonna freak out. You have to do one more set of pull ups. I have to do more pull ups? Yeah. I'm only at 30 right now. I need to do 100 for a Murphy. Eh? Yeah. Or maybe I'm at 40. I can't remember if I did four or three. So. They don't have to be perfect. What? They don't have to be perfect. Yes, they do. Perfection. <laughs> have fun, then. Honestly, the hardest part will probably be all of it. <laughs> Squats and the run. The fuck me. Babe, are you going to do a Murph when you're pregnant? You can do a half Murph. Is there a female Murph or do they do the same one? They do the same one. They do the same one? It's hardcore. They could probably do it easier because they like I'm not trying it. to judge, but like 100 pull ups? It's hard. You gotta do 100 pull ups. Yeah, fuck that. 200 push ups. I can't even do two pull ups. I could do three when I even was pregnant. I wonder how long it would take you from start to finish to just do 100 pull ups. It'd be like two days. <laughs> I'm not joking. It would. It would. She's got. Only do two at a time. You're supposed to also do Murph with a 20 pound vest. All right, let's let's just start. She's basically, got a 20 pound vest on. Yeah, I do. On like four pounds. I did. It's okay. What? Four pounds. Yeah. yeah. Gotta beef that baby up. Yeah, it needs to run a cycle on the first day out. Shut up, Kelvin. 
talking about the baby's gonna come out like benching and like <laughs> it needs it's, it has this cycle. I'm like, you guys, haha, it's very funny. Put growth hormone into the umbilical cord. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Baby's coming out with a sin number and a job. You're gonna have to be one of those guys that like don't touch my car because of that now. Yeah, I mean it's not a perfect paint job, so black will keep clean. If you do 20, that'd be crazy. I feel like if you can do 20, then you should do 10. But if you get close, too close to failure, your recovery is going to be too long. You screw yourself. You should set to 10. And biceps and rear delts for the rest of the year. Yeah, it's broken. Oh my god. Just a trap. Someone's gonna be like, this is a trick. Okay, people. Wait, don't start yet. I need to get Weston out. She's gonna get scared. Really? Babe, hey, I'm coming back.
right? So ripping a yield Camaro. That thing is, you can't drive that like normal cars. It's sketchy, but it's fun. A lot of fun. Love old cars. And you just feel like you're fucking taking back 50 years to like simpler times when you drive by there. My, I drove my truck when I drive that thing. That's why I really like them. They're just like, they're different. You just feel different when you drive them. They're not as like pristine or tight steering or as fast or anything, but they're, it's a different kind of fun. Different like untamed beast feel. So a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Just wrapped up that workout, chilling. I don't know what's going on for the rest of the time. I don't know if we're going to combine this with other things for this shit. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe, I don't know. So, that being said, see you guys soon. Peace out. Maybe it'll be like a full day of eating, not on prep. Not for cheating, eating healthy, but not prep food. Same shredded on non-prep food. So I've been having pancakes and sandwiches and tacos and wraps and all the good shit. So we'll see. But I'll see you guys soon. Peace.